Yeah, it's sort of crazy to think it's this is my third season. It's gone, um, it's gone very quickly uh, since I've been here. I've really enjoyed it. You know, Queens have been fantastic for me since I've arrived, and uh, really, I guess, taking me in as one of their own. So it's been, yeah, it's been enjoyable. It's been a different experience and something. Uh, I'm glad, that, you know. I'm glad I'm here. I've, you know, I'm really happy with the move I made and the decision I made to come over here and experience something new. And um, yeah, really enjoying my time here at Harlequins. Certainly challenged my game. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed the different aspect of it, the bit being a bit more direct and you know, it's, a, it's very confrontational. I think the game across the world's going that way. You know, you got to win the contacts, win the collisions. You look at the teams that are going well. That's what they're doing. Um, and so I think. That's uh, you know that's a big part of, of rugby at the moment. So I'm certainly you know I've been enjoying the the, diff the slight difference as well. It's still the same game. There is just a sort of a different mentality at times, and I, I've I've quite enjoyed that. It's something that I'm uh, quite privileged and honoured to be able to do. Uh, you know, as we spoke about the history, it is a great club. There is so much uh, history involved with this club that I you know feel very privileged to be able to. I'd be named club captain and hopefully I can do the do the armband justice, I guess, moving forward. It's definitely been what I've been used to. I think that probably one of the big differences we just have the squad sizes are a lot bigger. You know, we're we're sort of operating at around fifty five um, players in our squad plus so including Academy. So it it just you know, at super rugby level you were sort of at thirty three to 35 max, so it's just there's a lot more bodies that you need to make sure that we're on top of, and it certainly helps having a lot of um, you know seasoned professionals and internationals in our squad. You know we've had we've got uh, you know three guys that have captained the club before. We've got obviously Robbo, who's was England captain for a long time, and you know he's a great leader. Um, Jamie Roberts, who's captain Wales, and you know played 97 Test matches, I think now. So. Look, it's great to have those sort of experienced guys around me. It makes my job a lot easier. Um, but yeah, look, it's certainly something that's just um, yeah. We we definitely talk about it, but it's all about you know making sure the individuals are accountable for what they're doing. You know, we want to we're, we're here to we're trying to win trophies. We want to win silverware, and I think um, you know we've got to make sure we're doing everything possible to to make that happen. Yeah, look, I think um, obviously they probably had a tour that you know didn't finish the way they would have liked. Um, look, I think there's been a lot of positives throughout the year. You know, probably didn't start off as well as they would have liked through the June series and beginning of the um, the first Bladderslow. You know, but they worked incredibly hard to get some you know to get back into some form and they had a lot of confidence there. And I think it's you know it's just uh, consistency is probably the big thing. Same with rugby, you look at the best teams in the world. You know, probably the two best international teams at the moment, England and, and New Zealand, and um, both of them are very consistent. You know, on their off days they're not that bad, and on their good days, you know, they're very good. So there's not a lot of discrepancy between the two, and I think that's probably what they're you know driving to. They've you know unearthed a lot of good young talent, which I think is exciting, and they would have learnt, and hopefully they need, they, they've they've learnt from that and can keep building because rugby can change very quickly. And I think we've seen that with. You know, from the 2015 World Cup, you, you know, England are a perfect example of at that is that, you know, how quickly it can change. And it certainly means it's going to make for an interesting World Cup in the next couple of years. I think the test rugby landscape, every test is a, is a tough one. There are no, you know, teams that teams should beat or, or could beat. It's, you know, every time it's a, it's a true test and that's why it's called a test match. So I think it's, um, it's only a good thing for rugby personally. You know, I was very lucky to be able to captain my country and, and do it on a number of occasions and you know that's certainly something I didn't take lightly and I think any time I got to pull it on I found you know that was a fond memory I think you do miss it when you don't when you sort of I guess leave the the test arena it's something that you know certainly weighed quite heavily on me when making the decision to come over here I guess initially when I made the decision to come to Quinns it was, there was no sort of 60 cap rule it was if you didn't play in Australia you played um, you couldn't play for the Wallabies and so I was fully well aware of that and I, I sort of spent a lot of time weighing that up with my, myself and my family so look it's you know there's, there's a lot to, to remember I think you know obviously the first time I captained uh, Australia was a was a proud moment being particularly that the test was played in Brisbane uh, and we won the Tri-Nations that day um, look and I think that's you know, one of those things that I'll always remember. But yeah, you know, pretty much any time you've got a chance to stand there and sing that national anthem, I think is a, is a special occasion and something I 
certainly do, you know didn't take for granted and you do miss you know when you stand here and watch um, you know I was lucky to go to a couple of games while the boys were over here and it's certainly something you don't uh, you, you miss you know when you when you watch it from, from afar that you know the, the feeling that they would be getting uh, you know on match day you know I guess there's been a lot more probably definitely since I first came here um, there was only a couple of teams that probably had a some Aussies but now most most teams we play at some point have a have an Aussie there so it's nice to catch up with them post game and I think it's um, it's just the way that the rugby is nowadays you know look it is a really international game it's something probably you get a little bit more here comparatively to to back home um, you know obviously you know 95 percent of all players and all squads are, are Australian so I think it's um, whereas here you know we have guys from all over the world um, and it's you know I think it's a great part of the Premiership that we do you know experience that and it, you know it's it's funny sort of I guess playing against guys, particularly guys you played a lot of rugby with, you know, a guy like Ben Tapawai, you know, came against John O'Lance at Worcester the other week. Um, so yeah, it's always interesting to, you know, you have a little bit of banter on the field and a bit of chat. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's just, I think, a great part of the game and sort of, uh, it's good to catch up post. Yeah, it should be good. It's going to, you know, it's a huge, it's our big rivalry game for us. Um, you know, it's a big sort of, you know, big, big rivalry for our fans as well. And I think we've sold out. You know, tickets were sold out about a month ago for this for this clash. So it's a you know it's one that we always mark on the calendar. So it's always a big game. And you know, Willie's been obviously playing pretty well the last couple of weeks um, while their test guys have been away. So yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see him in a different shirt. I know he had a little stint uh, at the beginning or the end of last season, but um, yeah, it'll, you know he's been going well. So it should be a bit of fun.